today the topic of discussion is function in plsql so we'll study what is function and how we create a function in plsql so let's start function in plsql function are self contained sub program obviously uh, function are sub program is it's a part of program which are meant for doing some specific well defined task and definitely we create a function for doing some specific well defined task we we create a sub program for doing some specific task fine and this is what we have studied till now in any of the language either you can call c you can call java you can call python c sharp any language we create function for doing some specific job fine and it is a sub program okay function are named and in plsql function are named plsql block so in plsql function are blocks are named plsql block which man means they can be stored in a database that is you can store function in a database that is you can create a function and you can store in a database as database object you can you can store data function in database as database object and can reuse and it is one of the basic functionality of function we make function for reusing it for reusing it like if i talk about printf in c language if i talk about scanf if i talk about system.out.println these all functions we create for reusing no we create this function for reusing every time clearly okay so there are two types of sub programs so one is plsql procedures that is stored procedure we'll study later and currently we are studying what plsql functions fine okay so if you see the syntax syntax is create okay then function like you create table create or replace if function is already created you can replace a function create or replace that is okay then function then function name okay and after function you have a parameters so uh, i suppose i have parameter 1 parameter 2 and we have n parameters fine then very important part the return type because function always return a value then return and what data type it is returning return data type return and which data type it is returning it's returning integer correct character whatever it is fine okay then is okay fine then declare if, if you want to declare any any of the variable or constant you declare after is declare constant variable whatever then begin then function body and then end so this part is called header section and this part is called execution section eh, where we execute fine okay so let's see the example function in pl square to calculate square area area of square so what is square area if you see what is square square is a figure whose length and breadth are equal fine okay so this is a square whose lengths are all all the four sides are equal okay if you want to calculate the area the area is length into length fine so now we have to create a function for calculating area of a square let's see the code is so we have created create function and the name of function is square area the name of function is square area and parameter which we are passing is length okay and the data type of length is number fine so we are passing only one parameter and the data type of that parameter is number fine then return written that is written and data type of written the data type of written value is number that is the value which we are returning is also a number then is fine okay then we are we are creating a variable we are creating a variable we are declaring a variable area and the data type of area is number and what is this this is for having decimal value this is for considering the de decimal value if you only write area and then number it will only take integer value but it will not have decimal value but once you create like this 5 comma 3 then before decimal it can have 5 value and after decimal 3d values fine okay so this is the way you are creating okay then begin then area what is area this area is variable then area is length into length area so suppose you have passed 4 so 4 into 4 is 16 then area will have what 16 and then you are returning this area now your question is to which part i am returning so i'll just show you okay then end and then finally to run this we write slash now to run above function we use this okay begin and now uh, for printing i am using dbms underscore output dot put line like printf you are using dbms underscore put output dot put line and we have shown you this many times okay so dbms underscore output dot put line then this line will be executed as it is area of square this will be printed at as it is and now we are calling a function square area see this is the function name we are calling a square area function and the parameter we are passing is 4 the moment we call it will go and pass value to the length as 4 fine okay so finally it will come here and it will multiply 4 into 4 that is 16 so area will have 16 value and return area to which value it will return it will return from where it is getting a call it will return to this so it will return 16 it's 
passing a value 4 and the answer answer which we are getting is 16 so answer which will come is area of square is equal to uh, 16 fine okay then what is this okay this is very important part the moment you run this line dbms underscore output output underscore line so though your function will run properly though this uh, running of execution uh, running of function will also uh, uh, not will also not produce any kind of error but you will not see the output so in order to see the output you have to run this command first set server output on and once you have run this command you need not to require uh, to run this command on every function you can run this command before before printing dbms underscore output dot put line for any one of the function fine okay so this example was to calculate the area of a square now now we have second example for calculating area of a circle fine see okay uh, function in pl square to calculate area of a circle okay so definition is same create function and the function name is circle area fine okay uh, then uh, there is only one uh, parameter that is radius and the data type is number so what is actually circle circle is this and this is the radius and suppose radius is r so the area of circle is pi r square where pi is a constant value and the pi value is 3.14 and r is the radius fine so what we actually need pi is constant we need r so we have taken radius as a parameter and the data type of radius is number fine okay the written type is again number then is fine okay now area uh, everything is same area is a variable whose data type is number and we have created we have actually created this syntax for having decimal values fine okay then pi pi very important pi pi is a constant fine data type is number and again it can have some uh, decimal values and now we are you know initializing the variable pi and how we are initializing colon equal to 3.14 fine okay so now pi is having value 3.14 then execution section begin area is what pi into r into r that is pi r square and then written area to which it, it will return i'll just show you to run our function we do this we are calling circle area okay and we are passing parameter 4 the moment we call it will pass to this radius is 4 now what 3.14 3.14 into 4 into 4 whatever will be the area it will return to this this particular part and will have answer as area of circle is equal to circle area fine okay so this is how these two functions are working so these all are theoretical part now let me run all the two functions so that everything get very clear to you that how we are actually making use of this function and how we are storing this function okay so let's uh, escape okay fine okay let me go to oracle 10g and as i have already created these two functions so let me drop these function two functions first okay because these two functions are already there so let me drop this function otherwise it will create a function already exist fine okay and we don't want to see such kind of error so what we'll do we'll drop okay so we'll drop drop function f u n c t i o n function square area s q u a r -E square underscore area fine function dropped fine so you can see that there was a function already created and we have dropped the function function dropped fine so we have dropped now we have, what we want to we we'll drop circle area circle area c i r c l e circle area so we have dropped the both the functions and now we'll run this function so i've already created this function so we'll not waste your time so i'll just copy this uh, function from here and we'll show you how to execute this function fine okay uh, let me copy so I've just copied create function square area you can see that same I've just shown you create function square area the uh, parameter is only one variable length and the data type is number then written is written type is number that is written type is a number is then area area is a variable having data type number and its format is 5 comma 3 that is it can have decimal value then execution section then area is what length into length the whatever value you get comes to the area and after that you return that this value to the area do you return this value you return this area value you return this area value and to to whom you will return this value from where you are getting a call so let's first execute this function okay see function created so now this function is successfully created and it's stored it's stored somewhere no it's stored and now you can use it and in order to run this how to run this uh, again i've already created so i'll not waste any of your time i'll just copy this and how to run this see 
control v this begin and thus dbms underscore output output line uh, I, I have already run that command set server output on i have already run that command set server output on that's why i'm not using it again so if you are first time using dbms underscore output dot put underscore line then make it sure that you run set server output on okay fine okay so area of a square is equal to what square area and you're passing a value for fine the moment you pass this value okay see the answer you are getting the area area of square is what area of square is 16 okay one one more one thing more fine okay see begin and if you pass some decimal value suppose you are passing 4.321 okay and then end e n d end and then slash c now you're getting answer in decimal values area of square is what 18.671 fine because you have created a variable area with parameters like 5 comma 3 that is it can attain it can have decimal values fine now our second function is what our second function is circle area fine so i've already created i'll not waste the time fine i'll not waste the time i've already created i'll copy it from here control c okay and i'll paste fine okay so function created so create function circle area radius number here we have created create function circle area and then radius number that is radius is a parameter having data type number then return type is number area is again a variable having data type number and format is 5 comma 3 by you know it want it can attain a decimal value then pi is a constant pi constant it data type is number and again it can have this same format and value we are initializing is 3.14 and the the way we initialize is colon equal to fine okay then begin execution section area pi r square fine and we are returning this area and now to run this what we'll do to run we'll simply copy from here okay i'll not waste the time control c i'll simply copy control v and let me run this for you the area of circle is 50.24 fine so you are getting the answer 50.24 and uh, this same value is print as, printed as it is area of circle is equal to and here the written values coming and it's printing like this 50.0 and pl is created successfully and